Hello, it's me Um This video is going to be about incubating like substrates or the what's it called, material you put in with the eggs as you're incubating. This is one of the things you get like a thousand comments, well, I guess a thousand comments on. What is the stuff my eggs are on? Uh, what is, I got icky mite? Uh, I think I've had vermicky mite. Um, it's called vermiculite. I've had people call it, um, I think one was mermite for some reason. I don't know why. Um, and there's perlite. So the two ones that I use are vermiculite. And it's there. If I can get that one from there. There you go. Vermiculite or perlite. Um, this is what I'll go through vermiculite and do pros and cons and then I'll do perlite. Um, this is the stuff I use. Not going to tell you the shop I get it from. I don't want to advertise any shops. Anyway, um, this bag cost me about £1.25 at gardening season. And if you go after the sh after most garden centres are, well not gardens, like shops are going from gardening to Halloween to Christmas, they try and get rid of all the gardening stuff, so they, uh, what's it called, they take it all off the shelves or they reduce it, and you get bags of this like 75p, same with, same with the perlite. So when it goes on offer, buy in bulk, it doesn't go out of date, so you can buy it in bulk and you can get all your nextures incubating material at really cheap but £1.25 isn't actually that much I don't know how much that is in dollars as I use pounds over here so you're going to have to figure that out for yourself if you want to know that okay. this is what it looks like you can't actually see it it looks like little golden nuggets when you get it wet you will actually see you can actually see little gold flakes come off this is also the stuff that you put in your leopard gecko moist hide. Do not put perlite in with your leopard geckos. Um, Miculite you can put in with leopard geckos. I'm not actually sure about the digestion of it. I have seen my leopard geckos eat this stuff and they do pass it quite good. And you do know if they've been eating it because they do actually pull out. It's a, it looks like gold blocks because for some reason there's a little shiny things in there and you see it glistening and you will know if they're eating it because you'll get little they look like little gold turds but all mine so far have eaten it and they've had no problems with it and they do pass it quite well they're not eating it on purpose they go to get a cricket in the humidity hide and get a mouthful of it and it doesn't hurt them that much but I don't think actually feeding it would actually be a good idea so you, that's the stuff you put in the the humidity hide and the laying boxes. I also mix it with a bit of mud for that, but this video is about incubating. So perlite, vermiculite is good because it holds quite a lot of water, but a downside is it holds the water on the outside as well as the inside. And this stuff here is wet vermiculite. As you see it goes all gloopy and it does stick together. And you shouldn't actually get water coming off it. I should think no drips. And that is the perfect type of um, what you should put your eggs on. As you see, it, it is sticking together. I should have done more of it to make it look better. As you see, it does hold its shape. And that was, that's, that's the moisture you're going for. You don't want it dripping. You just want it to hold on. And I shouldn't have touched it because now I've got it all over my hands. But anyway, so that's that. You can get this in your pet shops. But it will be more expensive usually, unless your pet shop can get it in a decent price and it will be quite cheap. And in your pet shops you can get different sizes and it's normally, it should be in the shop where they sell the substrate and it will normally, you can get spider bedding for Miculite, it's exactly the same. And my dog's just walked in, in the background, you know. Uh, <laughs> the other one is Perlite. I, you can use a mixture of both of them dogs just come in for some reason. Anyway, um, you can use a mixture of both of them, but I now prefer perlite, as most of my animals that I breed are deserty, 
So perlite is better for desert, I think, and vermiculite is better for tropical. As perlite, for some reason, this is dry perlite, it looks like little polystyrene balls. Oh, that's a dog's watch. Um, digging the carpet up for some reason. Anyway, we're saying about the dog, it's about perlite. Um, perlite keeps the water on the inside and not on the outside. And then this is wet perlite here. As you see, it doesn't actually clump together as much. But it's not actually as wet as through the incubation period. The moisture gets released slowly and it's quite dry to the touch. In that it's sticking to me at the moment for some reason. But I think I've put too much water in here. It does take a while for the water to soak into it though. So it is a good idea to put a bit of I forgot a tub here. Put that in the if I was putting this tub, this is a cricket tub, these are the excellent things to put your eggs into. You put, most of them have a line at the bottom here, about a centimetre up of vermiculite, and then about a centimetre and a half full of perlite, and then put your eggs on top. We'll be fine. I prefer perlite though, as your eggs aren't sitting on the water, they're sitting on the perlite, and the water is in the inside of the perlite, and it slowly gets released but it's up to you. You can use both of them or you can mix them completely. So that is the difference of them and I don't think you can mention anything else about these things. Um, if you were on about the, the bearded dragon food video I did, this was the stuff I was using. It was vermiculite as it's designed for using in plants to slowly release moisture. This is also kind of for that, but it's more solid and that's more squishy very technical um, I don't think there was anything else you could say about it so I wouldn't put this in the laying box or the humidity hide as I don't know if they can pass this as this is like gravel and this does squish down to like nothing into a fine powder and this does as well but it is quite hard and I don't think that would be very good if they eat this as I don't think it is very good if they eat this but it, it hasn't harmed any of mine yet and they do pass it quite good and I don't put this in with my little leopard gecko so I don't know if they can pass it or if they do anything with it so that's pretty much it you can also use soil as your incubated stuff you can put moss in there you can do them on wet sand for certain creatures, you can use um, peat, uh, what's that stuff called, peat moss, um, topsoil, but if you're using any of that, you have got a high risk of bacteria and stuff. Another point about bacteria, actually, and fungus, perlite is slightly more chance of, no, not perlite, vermiculite, you've got a slightly more chance of having um, mould and fungus on, I found. Perlite, it takes longer to form on here, but it, it's hard to see on the vermiculite as it is to see on this stuff. Um, I have had mould and fungus in the incubators before. It's not a good thing because it goes through the eggs and then what you're seeing on top, like when you see mould on a loaf of bread, you may be seeing the little green bits of mould, but it's the roots and all the dangly fibrous stuff underneath that you don't see and that's what's shooting up underneath your eggs that you can't see and that's what's killing them inside the egg so if you see any slightly hairy bits mould and fungus to smell even though you shouldn't breathe it in because it can give you bad lungs um, it has got a bit of a pong to it remove it, use a spoon and if it is a bad case you can take the eggs out and put them in a totally fresh batch and if you do have a lot of mould and fungus in your incubator, you can dust the eggs in athlete's foot powder. It sounds weird, but it works, because athlete's foot powder is to stop your feet going fungusy, and well, probably not mouldy, but it's like a fungus, because the stuff that attaches feet is like a fungusy stuff. It grows in warm, damp places, like most... Uh, fungus and moulds do and an incubator should be warm and damp so it's perfect breeding ground for that 
and my batteries and memory is just about to go, so I think that I'll leave it at that. So you can dust your eggs in vermic uh, not what's it called, athlete spot stuff and that kind of base product. So before my batteries go, I'll say bye. I'll just leave you on. Right.